So I'm going to be real with you in a sense. Um, I'm going to talk about something that came to mind recently when watching a YouTube short and actually a few. It's about the sort of hardware oh, that Steam users are using and it's kind of boring, I'll be honest. Uh, my main worry is that NVIDIA is winning and that's not a good thing. But there should be equal competition or... Well, there's no hero in the story to be honest, but equal competition is better, generally speaking. Because I think when I look back on like in the past when I had like an AMD GPU, it was crap. It not only overheated, but it just didn't perform. I remember having like one of these ones which didn't have the uh, the power slot on the PCIe. It's like 2009, actually 2011, it's more accurate, 2012 possibly. And yeah, it just barely run Team Fortress 2 back then. It was an Intel called Duo 2 PC, so it's not anything special. I barely knew anything about hardware back then, but even then, we knew AMD was crap. Especially the CPUs. I come to any 13, I've got my own PC with an i5 quad core. And a GT640, I think it was. It came with it. Eventually I upgraded the power supply in the case for some reason. I got a GTX 970 and eventually the motherboard died. I don't know why. Um, but I replaced that with an i5-7400. Uh, more RAM I think as well, if I remember correctly. Uh, yeah. I think. But then... I had that computer for like seven years, six maybe, and eventually it was just time to upgrade because it wasn't running everything I needed it to. Like um, FL Studio, I've gone in the background now. It's actually still running. It was run well for the past year or two, until recently when it's just lagging out my system and the memory is just being taken up by it. But it used to run really badly on my last computer. That's when I knew it was time to upgrade. So when I was looking at what to upgrade it with, I just had no clue. Because all the hardware was so new that I didn't understand what to do. I'm not trying to run on purpose. I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Fuck off. Uh, so I just asked around, like, what do I get? And people just come up with these random systems, like, not explaining it. Like, I wanted to future-proof with the video card. And, as it turns out, it doesn't matter, because it didn't end up being that great either. It, anyway, like, uh, what I ended up choosing was a Ryzen 5800X, 32 GB of RAM, an RTX 3060 Ti originally and an SSD to boot from, which wasn't big enough. That's one of my biggest regrets. I think, never skimp on storage, I think it's worth like taking a hit in the hardware but for storage because storage is quite big for someone like me who has multiple hobbies. So yeah, um, but the main thing was that research, yeah. AMD just wasn't winning, and that's still the case today as far as I know, which is a massive problem. And the reason I don't like this direction is because it means that NVIDIA is going to become a monopoly, and that's not a good thing. And when I saw this short on the amount of Steam hardware users that are using only NVIDIA cards, it's quite scary to see that AMD was highest was at the 32 point and that was an older card. It's like, Jesus, that how the mighty have fallen. I remember when AMD used to be a budget card manufacturer. Like people actually used to tout them as like being the best for cheap gaming and now they're just not and that's again a huge issue. 
And the scary thing is this reminds me of Apple versus Android. For anyone who doesn't know, I used to be an Apple user myself. Up until like uh, 2014 I'd say, is when I was going to college. I for some reason got a new phone because my iPhone 4 was being crap. And I got a cheap Q-Bot I think it was called. Had a detachable case I think. I ended up getting two cheap Android phones and they were both crap. And yeah, I wasn't satisfied with them but they did the job for the most part. They didn't do enough, and I still stopped with Android because I didn't really like Apple anyway. Because I'm not that they were being a monopoly themselves and essentially making really scummy decisions, and that's what really caused me to change. Given how they make their old phones like more useless, it made sense to just not support them. Where Android phones will just continue to be useful for years to come. And eventually in like 2022, I think, I got a Samsung Galaxy. I won't say what, because I think people can actually use that information. But uh, yeah, it works. And I think the advantages of Android greatly outweigh the advantages of uh, iOS. Because even with something like free messaging, which was a big thing for our iOS, I find that with the right sort of phone company, you can get as much messaging as you want, and it doesn't matter. Like for mine, I don't even have to pay much for texts, and calls for that matter. It only takes me like a month or two to sort of empty it, the top of those. So it's not really a big issue, and that's even with like mobile data, keep that in mind. And it's quite insane. Um, also, Android's just evolved over the years because I didn't know until someone messaged me in a text that you can send images over text now. That's big. But I couldn't believe that when I saw that. I was like, what? What is this sort of fucking dystopian shit? It turns out that's a feature now. And actually, I'm quite comfortable with Android at the moment. It's not perfect, but it's good enough and I think that's the point. But I think the bigger goal in that is uh, to convenience the world, you need to inconvenience yourself first. That will help you understand it and that will also help make steps and that's what I think with something like MD versus NVIDIA here. So I think what I'm going to do going forward is I'm probably going to just go AMD now. Even though there may be hiccups in between, I think what NVIDIA is doing, is doing with like AI and exclusivity stuff is quite atrocious to be honest. And also like the false advertising of like DLSS and stuff like faking frame rates. That's just a red flag. And I'll be honest, like with an RTX 70 for uh has to be no three years has to be. I've not for three years now. I can safely say it isn't as good as people mainly out to be. And it could be because I'm a multitasker and I have a lot of things open, but I like gaming and stuff. You don't need a card this big. And really for performance and stuff. It isn't a big deal as long as the game is playable and nice to look at. Because this was talented as like a 4K card and I don't see it. I actually don't see it as a 4K card. It could be that I've been like, um, like the company that I got it from scanned, got scanned or something. It's just like rewired as like an RTX 3070 because I definitely don't see the performance numbers that other people's do. Well, that was a good sentence. Uh, I just get completely different performance numbers and it just doesn't sit right with me, to be honest. And this is when there was like the scalper crisis. So it's entirely possible I've been scammed, I don't know. 
that's up to PC specialists, like they should have verified it as a lot of expert symmetry and run the benchmarks and stuff to compare it. I could be wrong, but yeah. But it's possible that they're not to blame. Well, I haven't said that, there were some issues with the computer when I first got it. Like, for some reason, the AMD drivers weren't updated, and I had to update them myself, which was annoying. Yeah. I'm basically just saying that I think as gamers, we have a responsibility to make sure that everyone is safe. I think with NVIDIA, like, it only takes a Chinese company to buy them out for a billion pounds or something, dollars, whatever. Maybe they aren't trying this because I don't know, I haven't done my research, if that isn't obvious. But then, when you have that happen, then you're screwed. <laughs> you get a spyware on your computer with your RTX 5070 or whatever. Um, but I don't want to be a part of that, and I don't want to be a part of Monopoly. Simple as that. So, when this card dies, I'm going AMD. Simply.